Uh, well, a year ago I was more into studio work, I would say. More fashion kind of thing. Um, I kind of still am in a way. I still work with like um, unnatural lighting and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I think it's evolved. It's definitely moved out of the studio. I feel like the studio limits you in a way. So now it's more so a mixture of maybe studio and studio and landscape. of kind of disappearing businesses so businesses that are not yet gone but they're on their way but it's due to like technological advances so places such as Borders and Blockbuster and the post office years and some even sooner than that like I know Borders in UK has absolutely closed down altogether so what I've been doing is kind of going to the spaces and kind of um, documenting the workers and the people there and just getting kind of their, their opinions not even I'm not doing film but just like interacting with them and then photograph them as well. I'm, I specifically like to shoot film. Um, and the reason being is because in a way it doesn't it doesn't distract you from you and the subject matter as far as like what digital does. Like a friend told me before, when I shoot with when I shoot with digital I look for mistakes. Like when I shoot with film, I embrace them. So it's like being able to not only not see immediately what you're shooting and just being able to concentrate on the subject matter, I think it it, it not only helps you concentrate more, but it helps you interact better with the subject. Being human or not, it helps you interact better with the subject. So I think Polaroid, and I'm getting kind of off topic. No, no. <laughs> Polaroid, it has its perks, but I don't know, I guess I wouldn't shoot with it. <laughs> to, well, as I said, to create work that inspires, but also, I would say, you know, work that endures, that goes past my generation, so it'll still be relevant after I'm gone. I mean, they're, they're a lot. They're the ones known Diane Arvis, um, Rodney Smith, Andy Leibovitz, typical. But ones who inspire me, I would say, most definitely Rodney Smith. And he's a, he's a currently working artist, he hasn't passed. Rodney Smith, he's a, he's a working artist now, photographer. But he, um, he also shoots in film, but he does all black and white, even in like today's time where color is really important. Um, and I think he creates work that that will be here long after he's gone. You know, so him I would say. Uh, but like I said earlier, with the ubiquity of photography, you know, it's everywhere. Everybody takes pictures. It's 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 left um, not left, but it's leaving in a way. The sense of being a physical thing. It's no longer like a physical uh, a practice. It's more you shoot and it goes on a computer and that's it. Um, so basically, I feel like it should be something that's brought into a two dimensional space rather than being 1D, one sided. Mm -hmm. you know? So the materiality. Yeah. The materiality of photography is something that's really important. Right. Yeah, actually, I was, that's true. It's a genuine feeling. I was mad. <laughs> Especially you think, okay, I'm a photographer. While well, I'm pursuing photography and I don't even bring my camera. <laughs> Made me kind of mad. Yeah. Because even after, I mean, when you're so used to shooting and all the time, you almost begin to, when you look, you don't look the same. You know, you're always thinking this could be a picture, that could be a picture. So, really, 
the best thing to have my camera all the time, but oh, man, I didn't bring it today. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Erica, <laughs> for bringing that up. <laughs>